in Singapore, whenever we want to buy a car, there's really so many things we got to think about. Rising costs of COEs, road tax, fuel prices, and a lot of families are now looking for cars that are going to give them everything. Uh, they're looking for comfort, good price, fuel economy as well. Well, lucky for you, we have such a car. Hi, and thank you for joining us on yet another episode of Rev, Singapore's ultimate motoring channel with me, Renee, your host bringing you news and reviews in Singapore's motoring scene. As far as saloon cars go, we here in Singapore have a number of choices in what we want. Things like pricing, how much are we getting for what we pay, and of course, how much space and fuel economy we can squeeze out of our cars. The next car we have is in its third generation and already getting some really serious attention from potential buyers. It's the Nissan Selfie. The second generation car was introduced in March 2013, offering an upmarket design, luxurious interior and premium features, but yet with a more affordable price, already rising to be among the top 10 models sold in Singapore in the first half of 2014. The third generation Selfie is available in three variants. We have the Selfie Premium and Signature Series, both in 1.6 and 1.8 liter. The car that we have for you today, which is the Super Sport Sedan or Triple S, that offers affordable excitement from a sedan, powered by a 1.6 liter DIG turbocharger engine, appealing to those with a need for speed. The Nissan Sylphy has a very practical interior. If you expect lots of comfort and minimalism, well, you won't be disappointed. Looking around at the car, first of all, there's lots of soft touch materials, which gives the car lots of class. And also we've got some soft padding over the armrests to give you extra comfort as well. And throughout the Nissan Sylphy, on the interior, we have lots of silver finishing, which gives the car an added touch of class. And what we have in the center console is the MID, or the multi-interface display, which is a touch panel, by the way, which gives you information about uh, your radio, your DVD. Uh, you can even plug in your mini USB to uh, charge your handphone and even your iPod and iPhone. Things like uh, your calendar, uh, we, can, we can actually plug in all your contacts, your information. And and we also have the navigation system for you know to travel throughout Singapore or Malaysia. And you can also plug in your handphone, which you can connect via Bluetooth. And the steering wheel comes with a number of uh, features which allows you to control some interfaces within the car. Things like your multi-information display, which you're able to toggle through things like your radio station and your navigation. And then we have the fine vision combi meter, which is a really fantastic illuminated display, whether in the day or night. It allows you to see everything on the meter. And within here, you'll be able to actually go through all, uh, you know, things like your average speed, uh, distance till your next top up, and, uh, you know, distance travel. And you're able to control the volume of your handphone if you're connected via Bluetooth. And on the right section, we have your cruise control settings as well. And directly below the MID or the multi-information display is the dual zone AC, which allows you or your passenger to control the different levels of comfort that you want in the car. And to start up the car, we have this start-stop button, which brings the car to life. And what Nissan has done in the rear of the selfie, they've actually given you three layers of additional comfort in the seats, which means you, as a passenger, 
you're gonna be really relaxed in the back and as you can see I'm really stretched out even though the seats have been pushed up uh, just a bit in the front there's lots of leg room and headroom and in terms of AC there's also some controls which allows you to control the level of air conditioning you want in the back the Sylphie Triple S wears a fully integrated sports body kit matte black front grille and side skirts Filling the Silphy Triple S's wheel arches are standard 17-inch sports alloy wheels that add a performance-oriented edge to the styling of the turbocharged Silphy Triple S. The rear has LED taillights with some eye-catching chrome trim. It also has an aerodynamic spoiler mounted on the boot to complete the whole sports look of the Triple S, comprising of rear spoilers with stoplights. It also has 510 litres of space in the boot. Nissan once again has introduced the selfie. The one we have for you today is the 1.6 DIG Turbo. Okay, uh, we, also, we also have the, three, uh, the two other variants as well, the signature and the premium, 1.6 and 1.8. And if you want something a little more oomph, well, you know, the thing to definitely try out will be uh, the selfie Triple S or the Super Sport Sedan, which is the one we have for you today. So what's, uh, you know, so what's so amazing about this vehicle and you know, why should you even try getting one? Well, that's the whole point of us having this review to give you more info about how this overall the car feels in terms of uh, its comfort and performance and value for money for everybody out there. Okay, in terms of comfort, as I mentioned before, you know, uh, driver's seat, passengers as well, they have really great comfort. Over in the rear, it, they, not only one layer, but three layers of extra uh, you know, cushions for you, so you get some really great comfort in, in both the passenger and uh, you know for the driver as well. Uh, we we'll also have things like uh, you know dual aircon systems. But if you're looking for a car that you know has all the bells and whistles, things which you don't need, or maybe you're looking for something uh, you know something really simple, well, the Nissan Selfie will definitely give it for you. Uh, give it to you. Uh, we've got a really simple, basic layout basically. Uh, you know, make things really neat. So you only got your home entertainment system, and your navigation as well. And uh, you know the things like you know uh, some basic engine man engine management things to find out for your fuel consumption, your average speed which you travel at, and you know how much of fuel is left before you hit the petrol station. So in terms of drivability, I think you know anybody whether you just passed your license, okay, for those of you, uh, or you know if your family member or with somebody and you're thinking you know you need a car that's easy to drive for the whole family, well this is definitely one car you definitely want to check out as well, uh, the, uh, the Silphy Triple S. In terms of road holding, the car's got great road holding and really, you can't really feel much road noise, which I think is really good because, you know, some of these cars, if you buy them, uh, other brands, you get lots of road noise and it's got a really quiet cabin, so it gives you a really good drive as well. And in terms of, uh, you know, handling, as I said before, uh, very nimble, very light steering, a really easy to maneuver and uh, handle the car. And power-wise, you can hear the engine purring as I kind of accelerate it through the corners and I'm taking I'm doing a corner right now basically and as you can see uh, at low and at normal not really low speeds but at average speeds the car takes you very well but uh, you want to watch out for high speed corners on this one so in terms of drivability and it also comes with a CVT engine in terms of uh, you know comfort wise I guess in terms of uh, performance wise it, it, it's got you know a six speed automatic so you know you have a choice of either going full auto or you can switch it to manual and you can kind of manipulate the gears depending on the road conditions and how you want to drive about so if you're you know if you're looking for a car that for maybe for your, for for work or for pleasure this car will do it for you and the, the other thing about it is it's got that sporty feel to it it's got that body kit uh the rear spoiler and also it helps people differentiate that you're driving the triple s not the signature or the pre, uh, or the premium uh, the premium series so you know that's one thing you can consider as well. So, I mean, <clears throat> to make things cut to the chase, and just to let you know, uh, in terms of, you know, should you buy this car or should you consider it? Well, definitely give it a try, because uh, it gives you everything that you need, you know. Uh, fuel consumption is really good as well, so, you know, it's easy on, on, on the pocket. And with, you know, the rising cost of uh, fuel and the COE is kind of bouncing up and down, you want a car that's gonna save you money and, you know, give the whole family something to look forward to on the weekends. Uh, you know, this is definitely one of the cars you can consider. The Nissan Selfie Triple S. The Nissan Selfie is priced at 137800 inclusive of COE. And the prices of the other two variants are over here. And the road tax is $742 annually. 
Our thanks to Tanchong Motor Sales Private Limited for letting us have the Nissan Sylphy Triple S for our review. I certainly hope you enjoyed this episode of Rev. And if you happen to have a particular model of car you'd like to see featured on our show, drop us an email or message us on our Facebook. Till our next episode, drive safe. Do remember to like us on our Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagrams at the links below. If you'd like us to showcase a certain car model on our show, leave a comment below or message us on our Facebook.